Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of One Man Stream. In the past, you've seen me create uh, vMix controllers uh, using a Stream Deck or using BitFocus Companion or using a combination of Stream Deck, BitFocus Companion, and Central Control. And I've done some with just Central Control. But I can't believe I've not touched on the topic that we're going to talk about today. And that's using uh, the product that actually comes with vMix itself, vMix Title Editor. Now, vMix Title Editor makes it very simple uh, to adjust your graphics. Uh, and it's something that the novice can use. And it's something that can be performed uh, by just one person. So that's what we're going to cover today. Uh, today's topic is going to be vMix Title Editor. We're going to call it vMix Title Editor 101. And that's going to be the topic of today's one man stream. Before we get started, I'd like to thank everyone who has taken the time to stop by our online store. I really do appreciate it. I have all the graphics that we've created throughout this uh, tutorial series, along with many of the vMix UTC controllers. They're just a few dollars a piece, uh, but it is a way that you can help support one man stream. And I did want to say that I'm getting more and more requests all the time for uh, consulting, just general help on how to use vMix uh, for folks that are beginning vMix. And and also how to use vMix UTC for folks that are beginning to use vMix UTC and folks that have been using vMix UTC for a long time but have come up against an issue that they just can't work out. So I do can do consulting for both vMix and vMix UTC and if you have any questions or you would like to get in touch with me about that you can just send me an email at tim at veercast.com. So to get started today I'm just going to uh, get you a little familiar with uh, vMix Title Editor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out and I'm going to bring in this graphic right here. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to bring this graphic into preview and I'm going to go to this look right here. And the reason I'm going to do that is because when I bring this graphic into preview and right click on it, you'll see where Title Editor pops up right here. And I can click on Title Editor and it's going to bring up all this information that you see right here. Now you can see the familiar three tabs for text, images, and color. And if you look at the graphic, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn some items off and on. And whenever you see these uh, eyeballs here, that means that the particular element in these graphics can be turned off and on. So you'll see right here where we have the pitcher's name, Gallegos. And if I click this right here, you'll see where the pitcher's name goes off. But I can bring it back on. Same with pitch count. I, I made a mistake here. This shouldn't be pitcher's name one. This should actually be batter's name. And I'll change that when I go back and update the graphics. So this is actually batter's name and that's what's down here so I'll click it and it goes off and comes back on and then the other thing is the batter stats and I can turn that off and on as well that's under the text tab over here under images you can see where we have the St. Louis Cardinals image and where we have the New York Mets images all of these images can be changed by just going to your browser and um, I'll just click one right here. Let's go to something that's kind of interesting. Uh, let's go to the dragon right here for South Oldham. If I click on this and click OK, you can see where that turns to the South Oldham dragon right here. Now that's how you would change the images. Now the third and final tab is the one that's called color. So I'm going to click on color. And you can see the same thing. We have eyeballs for all these elements. Well, that's going to allow us to turn things off and on. So right here, this is the visiting logo background fill color, which is this is visitors right here. And this is home. So if we click on that, you can see where we have a blue for the background color of the visitors right here. And that, that can be changed. Uh, if we wanted to change it to white, uh, we would just click on here and change all of these to zero to six zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six. And if we click enter, then you can see where the color went to black. But we could also do it this way. So let's go to the home logo background. So we'll click on that. And you can see right here where it's red. Well, if we want to change that, we can change that by clicking on the color right here. And say we want to make it a blue. We can click on this blue right here. You can see where the blue comes in. Click OK. 
and you can see where we change that background to blue. We can change the background color for any of these elements in here, and I'm gonna show you how we do that in just a minute. So right now you can see where we have the two out indicators for one out and two out. After we uh, create one out in the game, we would wanna show that. So if we clicked on this grayed out eyeball here, you can see where that color comes in as gold, and that's because we've selected this gold as the color for the graphic. We can make this any color we wanted to by this, uh, doing the same thing just by going to our color palette. You can see right here, actually this is more of a copper color. We have this color selected, but if we wanted to select any color, we could easily do that by choosing any of these colors and then clicking OK. I don't want to change it, so we're just going to cancel out of it. If we want to click on out number two to show that there's now two outs, we click right here and you can see where that comes up. Now, you'll see right here where we have runners on first, second, and third. And right now we're showing we have a runner on first base. But if we don't have any runners on any of the bases, we would want those all turned off. So I would click on this right here. And it gets rid of the colored image there. Again, we can make it any color we want. Say we have bases loaded, we need to turn them all on. One, two, and three and we have bases now loaded. As far as uh, adding score, we would do that through the text. So let's go right here. And for the home team score, say the St. Louis Cardinals uh, have a big inning, there's a grand slam home run hit right here. So we need to add four to their score. We would go right here and click four, and you can see where it immediately changes to four. After that grand slam, we would need to clear out the bases. So we would go back to color, and then we would unclick all these bases, and now all the bases are open again. We still are showing two out. So that's just one example of the, using the title editor. Here's another example. Let's take a look at this graphic right here, a little bit different, and we're gonna right click again to show the title editor. And the top, uh, the team lineups, that's right here. Uh, let's just call this um, one man's, I want it all capital. One man stream, you can see where that comes in. We have home team and visiting team. So we'll change the home team to Tim's team. And we'll change the away team to Greg's team. And then you can see where we have the players. Home player one, home player two, home player three. That corresponds to uh, the home team uh, over here. So let's click on home player one. I'm sorry, this home team is actually listed on the left side of this graphic. So uh, Angel uh, Aguilar, that's this player right here. Home player two, Edgardo Bertrand, Ben Bush. Uh, say for some reason it turns out last uh, second that Ben's not gonna be in the starting lineup. What we'll do is we'll just change Ben real quick and a late substitute. Wesley Fernandez, and you can see where that comes in right there. So that would be for the home and the visitors. So there's all the home players, and then here is all the away players. That's how you can change those uh, in the title editor. Let's go to the next thing, and this is lists. And I utilize lists uh, oftentimes. Let me show you right here. Right now we're showing two lists. We have uh, list 34 and list 32. Uh, when you're doing this by yourself, you wanna make it as simple as possible. So instead of having to come down here under the list menu, what you can do is you can just bring up the particular list, come up here, right click, and it's gonna bring you in everything that's in of this particular list. So say we wanna bring in Campbell County, uh, their logo instead of the one we have here for Feld Fairdale. All we do is click on Campbell County, it brings in their logo. That's not the one we want. Say we really wanted Fairdale. So we right click again, brings up all of our possible uh, possibilities. And now we're gonna click on, uh, let's click on Fern Creek. And it brings in Fern Creek's logo. We're gonna do the exact same thing for one more graphic. And that's this graphic right here. So let's go ahead and bring this up and right click, click on the title editor. And you can see again, we have text, images, and color and we don't have any images or any color on this particular graphic. It's a very simple graphic. All of our editable fields are under text, but it's the same thing. We have team name. Let's change this to our female version 
of our soccer team that we have here, Racing City. F oops, FC. And again, we have the players. We have the player's name, we have the player's number, and we have the player's position. So say we needed to change player three. So we're going to go to player three. Player three's number is actually going to be number two. Player three name is going to be Jacob Smith, and their position is going to be goalkeeper, and their age is going to be, uh, let's put an age in here, of 28. Now, you'll notice that we have freshman, junior, and sophomore. I have this set up where we can either use it, uh, if we use it for high school, where we want to put what class the particular individual is in. If it's uh, semi-professional or professional, uh, we can set this up for age. So right now, I'm just going to change it to age, and I'm going to click out of it, and you can see that we quickly changed that to Jacob Smith, goalkeeper, number two, and he is 28 years of age. This was just a really quick and straightforward tutorial. Uh, like I said at the onset, I can't believe that I haven't covered this before, but instead of making really complicated setup, you can do it very simply by just utilizing the vMix title editor. So that's going to conclude this quick tutorial today. Uh, this was entitled vMix Title Editor 101, and this is One Man Stream Episode 130. And as I mentioned before, if you get a moment, please stop by our online store where we have our graphics and vMix UTC setups that we've created uh, during this tutorial series. They're just a few dollars a piece, but it is a way that you can help support One Man Stream. If you like what we're doing here at One Man Stream, please give us a thumbs up and a like. And if you would, please subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. And as always, thank you so much.